This is a portable ticket machine. It was made by AEG in Germany and this one is mounted on a stand. But uh, yeah, they were used by the Dutch National Railways in the early 1970s. They were also quite widely used in Germany itself. On the front you have these uh, input pins. Here you can set the, the price in these, these first four digits. This fourth column can only go uh, to zero or to five, so the price is rounded to the nearest five cents. The next column here is the ticket type, single, return and so on. This column is the uh, class, second class and first class. I don't know what the others are. Here we have three digits and that's the uh, destination. Every station in the country had a, a unique three digit code. The three digits here are the uh, starting station. So the, the details could be entered in the front and then you'd turn this handle and a ticket would be printed out. On these tickets there should normally be a logo at the top here of the uh, Dutch National Railways but uh, yeah, they removed the uh, cliché, the, the printing plate, for that when they decommissioned these machines. The next line is the price and the uh, stations. I'm not sure what those other two digits are. Then another plate in between and here we have the ticket type and the date. And this is a serial number of the ticket. I can remove this from its stand. I'll just uh, try and do that now. So it, it could be um, used portably by attaching a strap to these two uh, uh, yeah, knobs. On the bottom is uh, our two counters. The one over here is um, incremented every time you print a ticket and those last four digits are what appear on uh, the ticket here. Uh, this number, this register, uh, adds together all the prices, all the fares. So this would be the total amount of money that uh, has been uh, used to uh, yeah, used for all the tickets that this printed out. The tickets can just be uh, uh, pulled off like that. And here there is the uh, an opening, a latch, and you can open up the machine. Inside, here is the, the roll of paper for the tickets. There's a strap to make sure that it doesn't uh, open up too far. Here is a cartridge that, uh, yeah, that has its own roll of paper. So this cartridge is, uh, is then sent to the central office where they open it up. There's a small lock on this side. So they open it up and uh, yeah, check all the numbers.
underneath this cartridge is the uh, ink roll. I've put some new ink on there, but that doesn't really work very well. Here is the uh, yeah other uh, things that uh, the printing heads that actually print the numbers. And on this side, we have a little uh, stylus. With that, you can set these uh, digits here. That's the uh, the date. So every morning you'd increment this by one. When it's open like this, you can't turn the handle because there's a small switch here that uh, yeah that needs to be pushed down before the uh, the handle before the crank can work. But it also ha doesn't have to be uh, can't be pushed down too far because then it blocks as well. It has to be right in the middle. And the reason for that is the uh, this cartridge. It also has a, a small pin here. So now when it's locked, it would push push that uh, safety catch just far enough. But if this were unlocked, this this pin would be uh, moved that way, so that uh, yeah, then the the printer wouldn't work again. Just try and put this in. There we go. This was the AEG Cal ticket machine. Thank you for watching.